What up? It's your boy Jay on the Segway. Today's video, we're gonna take the Nami out. We're gonna take the GoPro Hero 11 Black. We're gonna take the DJI Action 4. And we're gonna take the Insta360 X3 out for a GPS telemetry data extravaganza. This video is basically going to be me showing you guys how the telemetry data looks on all cameras. Some scenes of the cameras won't have certain parameters because like um, GoPro, for example, they have too many overlays. The overlays will overlay the overlays and then you'll have a bunch of clutter on your, on your videos. So some of the scenes I'm going to take the overlays off and then some of the scenes are gonna put them back on. Same thing with the Insta360. Actually, I think the Insta360s is out of the way. And DJI's, apparently, you can put them wherever you want. So I may be able to put all the overlays that's gonna show up on the Action 4 using the Action 4 remote. As you guys can see right here, the Action 4 is going to be, I'm gonna have this wind muff over the actual camera itself. It's going to look like this. And I'm gonna put it around my neck since it has a really good field of view. The GoPro Hero 11 Black is gonna have the wind muff as well. They call these things wind slayers, like W-I-N-D slayers. I'm gonna have the GoPro Hero 11 Black inside of the appropriate wind slayer, and that is gonna be handlebar mounted. Now for the Action 3 X3, I'm gonna have that one mounted up on the selfie stick on the rear of the Nami, so you guys get a different perspective. You're gonna be cocked off to the side, so you can see me, around me, and to the side of me. You're gonna be my right, your left, depending on how you're looking at the video. So without further ado, guys, let's get into it, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. This is just a ride video. I'm on it. I actually forgot my cell phone in my truck, so I need to go back to my truck and get my cell phone. That gave me a reason to actually get on a scooter and ride. It's gonna be about 100 degrees today. Nami's fully charged, we're good on that one. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Look at the differences. I'm not gonna be able to do too much split screening because of the software that I have, and I don't know how to work the Adobe Premiere Pro yet. So um, I'm going to do like, it's gonna show up here, it's gonna show up there, it's gonna show up there. Maybe I'll do like the same exact scenes over and over and over from each camera's perspective so you guys can kind of see the difference. But um, all right, come on, let's get into it.
smell some damn weed.
All right, peoples. So that's the end of the video. But before I let you guys go, I just wanted you guys to see the video quality output in all cameras. All of the footage is gonna be down, uh, uploaded to YouTube at 1440p. And um, the aspect ratio is gonna be one to one. So you guys know. And that was just to make it even across the playing field as far as output size and everything goes. Some of these cameras, if you actually have them yourself, they could be a little bit wider. It just depends on how you're going to record it. Um, there's a lot of details that go into this stuff, guys, that I'm not putting in this video. I'm gonna have to make separate videos for, like how to use the remote, okay? There's probably YouTube tutorials already out there showing you how to use a remote. But I'm gonna show you guys um, like some of the ins and outs. Like for example, the DJI's remote, you know, their GPS remote, it took forever to find satellite reception. It may find it quick as heck for you. I don't have satellite issues where I live. I, I don't live in a place where having, getting GPS signals is quite hard to get. It's pretty easy to get, right? So um, there's things like GoPros, you know, GoPros speedometer can be glitchy if you actually move, if you're actually moving by the time it finds a GPS satellite and there's no GPS meter on a GoPro saying, hey, I got full signal, go on ahead and get busy. Uh, the action, the, uh, the Insta360 seems to be the best as far, or should I say the easiest to operate as, as far as getting telemetry data on your footage. But see, these are all different videos. So I may do remote, light remote usage, and then how it looks when you're editing it. I don't edit using my laptop. I do have a gaming laptop that's pretty powerful actually, but um, I don't use it for editing my videos because I have a, a tablet, an Android tablet, Samsung Galaxy S6 Plus, that's been getting the job done. And um, I have my program on there and that's how I do it. So if you guys wanna edit your videos on your cell phones or your tablets, um, I'm your guy. I, in the daytime, you always wanna use a good 30 frames a second during the daylight. When you have a lot of light, it's usually a good uh, frame per second to use. Um, the Action, the X3, the Insta360 X3, I've done that one in HDR video. With the other two cameras, I tried to emulate HDR. So like with the Action 4, we did, um, we did D-Log, and then when you upload the video footage to the to the app, they have D-Log um, M or something like that, and it'll add dynamic range and color to the video. It looks really good, in my opinion. This is just in the daylight. At nighttime, I didn't use that feature in the app because it it, it darkens the image, okay? Um, so you wanna use that only a day. Like I said, this is all different videos, all right? So anyways, if you wanna see those videos, subscribe, um, hit the like if you liked the video. If you didn't hit the dislike, it's fine. Um, but thanks for watching guys, you're on the segue. And if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. I'm good at getting back to you guys. Um, same thing with the motor vlogging. I did a motor vlog video, but I'm gonna simplify the heck out of it. So you guys know exactly what to buy, or I'll show you guys what I bought and then you make your decision. All right, thanks for watching, peace.